So today, I'd like to talk a bit about the untapped creative potential in flight. Since our ancestors, since the beginning of our ancestors' imagination, they've looked at flight as a metaphor for creativity and innovation. Jung even felt that the dream of flight represented freedom, the ability to break through the impossible, getting through barriers. But I would argue that today, in our current public imagination, that the ability to fly is limited. What we see as the possibilities for flight is primarily transportation or combat, getting from point A to point B, whether it's parcels or people, efficiently, or military uses, or in perhaps my imagination, exclusively uh, comic books, superheroes that go out and fight crime. But I'd say that there's a lot more to flight than, than that. I, I think there's a lot more opportunity, a lot more potential than the way that we currently think about the ability to fly. I'll use this mic instead. Cool. <laughs> So let's say that you woke up tomorrow and suddenly you had the ability to fly. That you could, at a moment's notice, take off and soar above the clouds and go anywhere you want. What would you do with that power? Let's assume that this is a world without intergalactic monsters or you know, supervillains that you'd have to defeat. But let's talk about the quotidian details about what you could actually achieve with this ability. So obviously one opportunity to do social good with this ability is help emergency services. Firefighters would rely on your expertise flying over burning buildings and identifying where they could send firefighters into the uh, building efficiently and safely. You could help search and rescue workers fly over potentially dangerous scenarios and find missing persons. You could support agriculture by using your multispectral vision, let's assume you also have multispectral vision, and identify where farmers are having problems with their crops, which areas need more fertilization, which areas need insecticide, which areas need additional irrigation. And this would save them resources and also mitigate some of the environmental impacts of heavy agriculture. So as you can see, there's a lot that you can do with the ability to fly. And it does save lives, but maybe in a less dramatic way than some of the uh, current movies out there would have you imagine. But the amazing thing about this is all of this is happening right now. And it's not happening with superpowers, but actually with technology, including the, cam the flying camera technology that's been developed by DJI, including our recently released DJI Inspire One which will come up here in a second. So why now? Why is this happening now? The ability to fly has been available to us for a long time. With helicopters, we've been able to uh, do a lot of aerial surveying. With RC helicopters, the remote controlled, you're able to get into some places that were more difficult to fly uh, larger scale helicopters in the past. But right now, we're seeing the technology become simpler, easier, more powerful, and more affordable. So the confluence of all of this pressure is allowing everybody to get up in the sky and achieve their creative potential. DJI's systems are based on this philosophy that the ability to fly should be open to everybody. And that's why we've built in GPS-based stabilization technology that ensures that even in 50 kilometer hour winds, your platform is gonna stay stable. That means that you have built in intelligent return to home function. So if it flies beyond the range that it's supposed to fly, it will automatically come back to you and land. We also incorporate a variety of sensors into our platforms so that you're able to see in 4K 
what the, the camera is seeing from that completely new perspective. So what are people doing with that new perspective? Well, every week we see a new application of our technology that we never even dreamed of. We're seeing archaeologists create 3D maps of the Incan ruins so that they can better preserve them. We're seeing sports teams evaluate their performance by flying over practices, either race car drivers making sure that they're hitting the right points, or football teams ensuring that their hand play and defensive coordination is up to par. So I'd like to highlight three major uh, areas where aerial technology is having a significant disruptive potential. So if we play the video, this is actually shot by our partners at uh, spontaneous, com spontaneous Combustion Productions. This is a team that has been creating uh, videos and doing professional filmmaking projects for the last 10 years. And they've used this technology in order to get shots that were previously impossible with helicopters. By flying in close enough to individuals and into different scenarios, at a fraction of the cost, they're able to open up the creative potential of filmmaking in ways that were previously uh, un un unavailable to um, smaller productions. So even with this technology, not only for property videos, real estate, uh, adventure sports, but there's also applications for feature films. In fact, they recently shot Iceman 3D with Donnie Yen, which is pretty exciting. But beyond that, there's also opportunities in um, some industrial sectors. Our platforms, even our entry-level platforms, have been used for mining applications. So one of the key challenges that mines have is ensuring that their mine mouths have uh, structural integrity throughout the development of their, their ore. So uh, in the past, they have to fly helicopters several thousands of miles, fly really close to the mine mouth, survey, running the risk of a, a potential crash, then fly back, assess the information. Typically, this entire process costs several, several days in terms of time, potentially lives, and thousands and thousands of dollars of resources, both in terms of renting the helicopter and also fuel. With a $1,000 DJI Phantom, mines can press a button and it will automatically survey the mine mouth, create a 3D map in near real time, and process the, the entire process of this flight and, pro and uh, creating a 3D model takes about 20 minutes to one hour. So significant savings in terms of time, manpower, and personal risk. The last example I wanted to leave you with is a little bit more inspiring for us. Uh, in a lot of uh, emergency disaster areas, whether it be fire damage, earthquake, or floods, the first thing to go is the communication system. And this is also one of the most vital functions of emergency relief efforts. The ability for people to call a hotline and say, I'm stuck at this location, or triangulating, uh, triangulating cellular data so that people know where to look for survivors. Using our systems, not only can you survey um, emergency situations a lot more efficiently, but we're also seeing a team in University of North Texas develop cell towers that can be mounted to some of our platforms, fly over disaster areas, and be able to provide instant communication resources to those that are stuck in disaster zones. So all of this is to say that we see tremendous potential beyond some of the traditional uses of flight. Um, Marshall McLuhan, the famous uh, media thinker and, and philosopher, believed that all technology is an extension of ourselves. So the wheel is an extension of the foot. The clo our clothes are an extension of our skin. Uh, cameras being an extension of our eyes. But how to think about flying camera technology? I would argue that flying camera technology is an extension of our imagination. 
that it allows us to reach places that we never thought possible, and allow us to do more than we ever believed. So my challenge to you, when you start seeing challenges that you don't know the exact solution for, and requires a new perspective, my challenge is to let your imagination soar. Thank you very much. So uh, <laughs> this is the DJI Inspire. After some technical difficulties, we've been able to get it up in the air. You're able to see how the camera transforms so that while it's up in the air, you're able to get a th full 360 panorama. The camera built into it is a 4K camera. It streams full HD video up to a range of one kilometer away. Some of the footage that you saw earlier was shot two days ago up until this morning. So you can see how easy it is to pull down amazing images and get them shared immediately with your, your friends or for some of the uh, professional applications that we've talked about. So uh, some of the sensors that I was missing, um, it's got a GPS uh, triangulation system inside that keeps it stable. But also down here, you have a downward facing camera and ultrasonic sensors that even indoors without a GPS signal and uh, assuming that there's no other radio interference. Uh, yeah, lo lots of uh, things happening on the same channel that the flight controller is running on. But uh, assuming that there's no additional interference, the system will run smoothly and perfectly even in indoors in difficult flight scenarios. So thank you all very much and uh, enjoy the rest of the show.